Hey, porn art people. Um, I am really excited about the piece I'm going to do today. It's inspired by a couple of different people. I'm using some new paints that I just tried for the first time last night. And I'm going to do something a little different with them both than I planned and also than I did last night slightly. So let me get you down and I will tell you all about it. This is inspired by Tracy Reed um, with acrylic pouring from acrylic pouring with friends and also by Tina of TSR Creations. The colors are directly inspired by Tracy. I uh, have been watching her work with these colors for a little while and I decided I just had to try them for myself so I did <coughs> and I was going to do something entirely different with them than what I ended up doing that idea was actually inspired by Tictus, and I'm still going to do one like that. Maybe not with these colors. I haven't decided yet. But then I saw this beautiful swipe that Tina did on a round piece. And I thought if I could get a pattern somewhat similar to that, I will link it in my video description below so you can see what I'm talking about. However, hers is modified. And I haven't decided if I'm going to modify this one or not. I might, I might not. We'll see when we get there. I'm going to have me a little skewer just in case. Anyway, so I saw this beautiful bloom swipe she did. And I thought that would look really good for this if I could get it to turn out even somewhat like that. So, I'm using bloom recipe paints. And my mix is one part bare 3300 deep base to three quarters part Josonia gloss varnish. And then I mixed my colors in and I did that for the black as well because I didn't want to go out and buy a black base and I wasn't sure if it would work as well if I did just like my normal black base. So the black is a bit thicker than the other colors. I could have thinned it out some. I ha it's almost more dark gray than black but it dried pretty black. With this 3300 the darker colors, you have to use a little bit more of them than you do with the 8300 base. And I actually kind of bought it by mistake, meaning to get the 8300, but I bought it and it's like $40 a gallon. And so I'm going to use it. And it, it's done really well. When I go buy paint again, I will be using the 83 instead of the 33, but really it's done well. For my colors, um, the new paints I'm trying out are the Deco Art Enchanted paints. And two of them are just the regular Enchanted line, and two of them are Enchanted Shimmer. And this is one of the shimmers. It's magenta. As you can see, it looks white. It's an interference paint. This is violet. That's not a shimmer. A green shimmer. And a blue, not shimmer. And time will tell if I'll regret using the shimmer or not. And then I also mixed up some Deco Art Sterling Silver. Which I'm going to put on the bottom. And then on top of the sterling silver, but below the interference paints, I'm going to use somewhat corresponding um, regular 
two paint colors and they're almost all Liquitex. There's phthalo green. There's quinacridone magenta. I got some more of that now. And this one, originally it was just going to be color art black cherry, but it was a little too light for me. So I was going to mix in some dioxazine purple and I grabbed the wrong bottle and mixed in brilliant purple instead. And then I added some dioxazine on top of this, that. So this is three different purples, but I think it's actually a fairly good color for what I wanted. And then this is color art prism pour midnight shadow. So I'm going to do the silver and then those regular colors. And then I'm going to drizzle the interference colors on top of that. And then I'm going to do a swipe with uh, both black and white for the swipe colors. And that is my plan. So let's get started and see how this works out. I hope it works out really good because I'm super excited for this. And I just may cry if it doesn't work out well. And I'm going to try to go light with the regular colors because I just want them to be kind of a contrast to the interference colors. But I want them to show, show them off. I don't want them to, you know, take over. So that was the Midnight Shadows. Got it down, got the silver down. Going for my three color purple mix. And you know, if this doesn't turn out to be exactly what I want color wise, then I will just try again, but I'm I'm fairly certain I'm really going to like it, whether it turns out exactly like what I have in my head or not. I did a couple practice tiles last night, but with the practice tiles, I layered these colors, these solid colors, in between the interference colors, and they turned out gorgeous, but the interference didn't show up. It wasn't quite as showy as what I wanted. And I thought, well, since I'm swiping over, maybe it would be better if I did these colors underneath and all interference colors on top. Maybe that would fix that. If it doesn't, then I may do another one with just a couple of the darker colors. And who knows, may even end up doing one with none of the darker colors at all to get more what I'm looking for. But we will see. I think I'm going to do the shimmery ones next because from the practice tiles, I'm a little more impressed with the non shimmery ones than I am the shimmery ones, to be honest. It's like the shimmer's pretty, but I don't really feel like it adds anything to what these colors do already. It's just my opinion. And I need to buy some more of these because I just got like one little two ounce bottle of each color. They're very inexpensive. And I know I'm going to go through them pretty fast. So, yeah, but I am on a paint supply buying pause. I'm buying a, a few things just to finish some pieces I already have, like the board for the back of some tiles and some clock parts and stuff. But other than that, I'm not buying any more paint supplies until mid-August because I'm saving back money for a weekend in Dallas. I'm going to be 
taking an all-day class with Tammy Anderson, and I'm super excited about that. I hope I learned some stuff, but I'm excited just to meet Tammy. I watched so many of her videos. And uh, my husband's going up with me. He's not going to the class, but we're going up, going over to Dallas Friday and staying the night. And then after the class Saturday, we're going to spend some time out on the town in Dallas and then some more time Sunday doing this little Tex-Mex food tour thing, which will be fun. And then we will be going home. So we're making a weekend of it. So I'm putting back money so we have a nice enjoyable trip and I'm sacrificing my paint stuff to make it happen okay so there's our colors all laid out and what I'm going to do for the cell activator is I'm going to dip my spatula in black and then I'm going to pour a little white on it just a little white on it and then swipe with that. So let's see how this goes. That wasn't the best swipe ever. But I think it did the job. The tiles I did last night, I did one with black and one with white. And I liked black one in some ways and I like the white one in some ways and I'm like you know what I've never done um, the dual cell activator before why not try it now so that's what I'm doing and so far I think it's going to be a good call Ooh, I dug in a little bit on that. Oh, that's pretty though. Do you see how pretty that is? Y'all, I'm so excited about this already. I need to get this put on this paint though before I dip my paper towel in it. Look at that, it's so pretty. And I think I'll use up most, if not all, of my cell activator here. It's so pretty. You see those interference colors popping up? Yeah, with the, with the solid colors underneath, they're showing up a lot better than they did on those tiles. Um, I'm getting ready to resin some pieces soon. I don't know how soon because I'm getting over COVID. I had, well, as of yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah. As of yesterday, I was still testing positive for COVID. Um, yesterday was the fourth. The Sunday, not the Sunday, not the third, but the Sunday before that. Well, actually Saturday, I started feeling just really poorly. I just, I didn't have any energy and I didn't think a lot about it. And then the next day, I had a sore throat. I did three videos that day with a sore throat. So that was fun. I'm going to just be a little adventurous and I'm going to swipe across this without re dipping it because it's still got paint on it. We'll see what happens with that. I think I might see if I can swipe that little part up there again, but with my little white paddle since it's smaller because I don't I don't feel like that did good enough anyway so yeah the next day I had a sore throat and then I figured out by Monday that
that I had strep. So I got an antibiotic prescription for that. And then when I was still sick Tuesday, well, that's not normal for me, especially when I've already got on an antibiotic on day two. I told Alex, I said, I wonder if I've got COVID because it's not like me to hold on to a sickness this long. And he was like, well, it hasn't really been that long. And I'm like, it's like day two or three. And so he brought me home a COVID test. And yeah, I had COVID, fully vaccinated, made it through COVID all this time without getting it. And then all of a sudden, boom, this far into it, I have COVID. What's worse than that is other than going to the office, which there's only, I mean, there's other people on the floor in our office, but you never see them. But there's only uh, two to four of us actually in our office in day shift at any given time. However, we do have night shift people now, which we didn't used to. So maybe that's where it came from. I haven't heard anything. I'm going to just fiddle around and try this modifying thing a little bit. See if I can get it to work for me. Anyway, so maybe it, it came from there. I haven't heard anything about night shift having COVID. But, you know, I'm not sure if any everybody announces it or what. Yeah. I'm, I'm not super excited about that. It doesn't look like it's doing much of anything. So yeah, anyway, got COVID and still had it as of yesterday. Today is the first day I've felt normal. So enough of my tangent. Let's see if I can spin this and get it to spread out. It's going to be kind of hard because this record's so light. But I want it to spread out some. And I feel like spinning it would get more of the spread I want than tilting it. Well, hello, Patches. What do you want? Patches is my little calico. What are you telling me off about? Don't make me put you on camera. I would show her to you, but my hands are covered with paint. And I'd have to take my gloves off grab my phone and take it down there if she even lets me get the get her on camera she doesn't like to be picked up or um, held she'll lay on your lap i mean she's a very friendly lovable cat but she's not into being picked up I'm trying to move this paint further down towards that other end I'm going to put a little more black along right there because I don't really want to lose that whole thing. I did not have much extra black on this. I used most of my cell activator, most of my base. I do have quite a bit of the colors left, but that's good because I can see me doing this again. I think if I try to spin a record again, I'm going to tape it down because I can't. It's so light, I can't get a lot of force on my spin, see? Because it slides.
Now let's see. I would like the pattern to shift this way if it will. Y'all, I really like this. This may be my favorite that I have ever done. I may like it even better than the one I did for my living room. I think that was a very good call to go with both the black and the white so activated. Let me get you a close-up. Those interference colors are just gorgeous, and so is that silver, but that black. And I'm even getting a little sparkle from the dark waters, which I was hoping for. It's kind of hard to see it. But they just give it this glowy look and I love it and these are so inexpensive I was gonna get some of the color art interference and I probably still will but this is a little less trouble to mix and it's so inexpensive and Tracy's doing so well with them that I thought I would just try it let me see if I can there we go Love to see some comments. What do you guys think of this? Do you like these colors? Do you think it would be better if I just did the interference colors and left the other colors out? I think they kind of highlight the interference colors a little bit personally. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you'd like to get notified when my videos come out on Fridays. And I will catch you later.